Before I get into my video, I want to give a big shout out to the big boy behind me, Rob2628. Apparently, he cleared tier 25 of the abattoir of Zir. So, congratulations, Rob. Big props to you, man. Um, if you guys don't know Rob2628, I'm sure you do know him. He's a huge grinder, a massive, massive elite player in Diablo 4. Um, I just saw his video on YouTube, so I thought I would uh, have it in the background playing. Anyway, I'll provide a link to the video in the description. Go check it out. Hit the like button. Give him a sub. Give him some love. The guy deserves it. He grinds his ass off. Uh, and apparently he cleared tier 25. I'm going to watch his video after I finish recording mine. So go check it out and give him some love. Congratulations, Rob. Well deserved, man. Anyway, regarding Diablo 4... Uh, I've been pretty good lately at staying away from talking about my thoughts, what's going on in Diablo 4, and I've been doing that on purpose just because I found that I, I didn't like talking about the same thing over and over, but there's one constant theme in Diablo 4 that just does not want to go away, and it's bugging me, and I don't understand why we continue to see this in the game and i want to talk about it in this video i hope you'll stick around and join me we'll see you on the other side so here's the thing there's a lot of elephants in the room when it comes to diablo 4 unfortunately like a lot um i'm not even talking about What's lacking in this game? You know, itemization, the lack of itemization, the lack of end game content, yada, yada, yada. I'm not even talking about those big ticket items that I've talked about in great length in a lot of my videos in the past six months or five months, however long it's been. Um, I'm talking about something that is consistently in the fabric of Diablo 4. It no matter what is introduced, a new season coming, a new event, this one characteristic always pops up its ugly head in what we experience in the gameplay when we're playing Diablo 4. And that is the lack of substance in everything that we touch and feel in Diablo 4. And it pains me to say it, but I was thinking about this the other day because as I've stated before, I live stream and during my live streams and actually in the comments on my videos, even when it's not about Diablo 4, I always get asked, is Diablo 4 bad? What do you think of Diablo 4? why are you not playing Diablo 4? You know, I get inundated with Diablo 4 questions and a lot of them around, what do I think? But the one thing that is really just hit me was the lack of substance in everything in this game. And we can dissect every single move that the Diablo 4 dev team has done with this game. And that, word at least pops up in my head and my mind when I look at what was put on the table for us when it comes to Diablo 4. Season 1, a complete empty cesspool of nothing. And that was <laughs> confirmed by the player base to their reaction of Season 1. It was just an empty shell Diablo 4 as a whole, the whole game, you read Reddit, you go on X, you play the game, the constant thread, the theme is this game is not finished. It's it, 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 it's a beta. And again, substance. There's no substance in the game. We get season two and oh my God, really great jump from season one to season two a ton of content everybody's happy there's more things to do and there was a lot of positive out of season two a lot of positive there was the blood harvest event which showed us 
that hell tides suck and they were useless and and blood harvest is what a hell tide should be um so i think blood harvest is probably one of the shining stars in uh season two but again outside of the blood harvest all the other things with season two are empty there's no substance we're doing things and it's meaningless it doesn't mean anything we got five new bosses which we can target farm and farm for uniques and uber uniques and we we're all like amazing we're going to be able to target farm we're going to be able to get and farm for uber uniques well I know people that have done over 400, and I've said this in a prior video, that have done 400 Durial runs and have gotten this many Uber Uniques, right? Now, okay, sometimes you need to grind for a very long time before you get that unique drop, right? I get it. But what's the end game there? There is no end game, right? Because once you get it, then what? It doesn't mean anything. It means, okay, great. I got an Uber Unique. And don't get me wrong. I would be ecstatic if I got an Uber Unique. But at the end of the day, what does that mean for the progression of our characters and in the game? It only The only thing you, is, is flexing. You can flex and you can brag about the fact that, hey, look at this. I got an uber unique right like it doesn't mean anything towards the progression and the future of your character you're not building anything you're not working towards anything there's no substance there's no substance in this game look at the winter event it's a seven eight hour event okay you get some unique items but again nothing now i understand winter events you know they they shouldn't really have that much substance it's an annual thing i get it right but the abattoir of zir right look at that empty shell empty shell it goes away you're only gonna <laughs> reap the benefits of of grinding that abattoir of zir and what's the reward depending on how fast you clear it so we're in the middle of december right and the abattoir of zir is going to be you know finishing in two oh just over a little bit over two weeks we just like i mentioned rob 26 28 just finished world uh sorry tier 25 in the abattoir of zir great he's going to get to enjoy that benefit for two weeks okay this is a gra a guy that grinds a ton of hours every day and has built, min-maxed his Barbarian and has just completed tier 25. And he'll reap the benefits and enjoy those accolades for two weeks because in the beginning of January, it's gonna get all stripped away. There's no substance to what he just did other than the fact that he could say, I did it and major props to him it's a hell of an accomplishment and congratulations again rob major props bro what an accomplishment what a feat um but that's it i'm talking about the video game in game what progression what are we working towards there is no substance everything we've gotten in diablo 4 in 2023 has had zero substance, no meaning. There is nothing there. It's an empty plate. It's like you order steak and potatoes and the plate comes and there's nothing on the plate. There's maybe a salad, a carrot and a celery. And you're looking like, this isn't what I ordered, right? Um, there's no substance. So there are many elephants in the room when it comes to Diablo 4, like I said before. Lack of itemization, lack of end game content. I can go on quality, like quality. There's a million elephants in the room 
that we need to address when it comes to Diablo 4. But at the core, if the dev team doesn't lose this thing about dropping stuff in the game that has no substance we 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 can talk till the sun goes down like nothing is going to change in this game there needs to be substance in everything that is being done in this game and right now there isn't and it drives i i i, I don't know i don't know what to to think i i don't know why there is why they've chosen this path. I've stated in other videos that I feel that it's money related. They're trying to squeeze and maybe that's the simple, maybe it's that simple. Um, and if it is, then I get it. I understand it's money related. And, and like I said in a previous video, you know, they're trying to squeeze as much as they can out of every lemon and they're, they're stringing us along, you know, they're pulling us giving us a little and then pulling back, getting as much out of it. That I can kind of buy, but I'm thinking as a business person, what kind of strategy this is, 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 is mind boggling. You are er eroding your player base to the point of no return. And I've said this over and over at the current point, pace that Diablo 4 is improving we are looking at best case scenario second to third quarter of 2024 and I'm not going to mention all the games that are coming out in 2024 um, but one of its major competitors Path of Exile is doing PoE 2 in the summer of 2024 and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments about me always mentioning Path of Exile 2 but newsflash, everybody, BOE2 looks really good. And there's a lot of people, not anxious, but super excited about what's coming down with BOE2. So I'd be very nervous if I was Activision Blizzard and their timeline. Now, as of today, what we know, leaderboards are coming in Season 3 nothing else we've heard to date now again this is all a moving target so this may all change but as the time of recording of this video the only thing going on in season three is leaderboards and great a lot of people love leaderboards a lot of people are going to gravitate to it and it's going to be good for a lot of of the player base I, I i get that okay but i don't care what you say leaderboards doesn't address those two elephants that i mentioned itemization and end game i don't understand leaderboards is not end game okay doing the same thing over and over and trying to see how fast you can do it that's not an end game um because that becomes pretty repetitive after a while as well and it doesn't address the needs of the whole player base in my opinion and then we've been told season four, they are going to start addressing itemization, start addressing, not address itemization, start. And the reasoning being it's so complicated that they need to do some things first before it's completely overhauled and changed. So season four, again, as of what we know today, is only going to start addressing itemization, right? Now, season four is second quarter of 2024, okay? April, May, and June. Give or take, depending on when the seasons stop and start, okay? But that's kind of the time frame. April, May, June. So that's the end of the summer. Season five will be in the middle of the summer, right? That's when PoE2 has its beta. And not to mention all the other games, good ones that are coming out in 2024. All right. So there's going to be stiff competition out there in 20. Well, there's always stiff competition, but I'd be really worried with the lack of movement when it comes to um, the improvements to Diablo 4. Well, Sammy, this is how Activision Blizzard works. It took them 10 years to fix D3, five years, six, whatever you think. Okay. This is how they operate. They never get it right the first time. They iron it out over several years and then they get it right. Look at, look at, look at this, look at that, like blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Now, I don't think the 
video game space is the same it was five, 10 years ago. It's a lot more competitive, a lot more studios vying for the player's time and money. And the other thing is social media has become more and more and more predominant and influential in how gamers buy games, play games, view games. So image has a big impact on the success and viability of a video game. And when you're constantly getting shit on and have negative press, people instinctively will always think of your game with that connotation, okay? Um, so you can't continue to have this negativity around your game because no matter what you do, people will always view it like that regardless of whether or not improvements have been made. So they need to flip the coin and start getting positivity to this game and stop with the non-substance of everything they do. It, it seems like they do the bare minimum of everything, just enough to appease everybody, but the appeasing only lasts a short time and then it goes back to the piss off factor. So we're back at square one. So the point of this video, and my apologies, a lot longer than I wanted to go on, is for the love of God, Activision Blizzard, can you please stop with the lack of substance in everything you do? This is getting annoying. You're pissing off the player base. The erosion is unbelievable. You have so many people that are rooting for this game, that want to see this game. Can you just put some substance into the game and address the big ticket items stop pussyfooting around with all the little minor tweaks just to give you the little and it's all talk all talk all talk all talk can't wait to talk to you guys about everything that's coming in 2024 what does that mean what does that mean do you notice have you guys ever compared the tone and how the communication is done with Activision Blizzard and their games and other games. Do yourself a favor. Go watch any campfire chat or live stream from the Diablo 4 dev team. Anyone. You can pick one, okay? And go watch the latest video on Path of Exile 2 and the GGG developers. And I want you, while you're watching those two videos... All I want you to think about in the back of your mind while you're watching it is how are the developer, what are they talking about? Are they talking about actual in-game stuff, the mechanics, this and that? Or do they sound like a used car salesman? And they're talking about this is what's going to happen and you're going to unbelievably do this and this is... There's a huge, huge difference in how those two games from the developers are talked about communicated about you watch just watch do me a favor do that analysis for yourself and then you can come back to me on my comment section and tell me you know what sammy you're right i never noticed the huge distinction in delivery of how the those two games are marketed and discussed it's incredible it's a stark difference and there's why one is very successful and has been for many many years now granted path of exile has what 10 plus years of of development and and history behind it so that's a huge advantage okay so i'm willing to give diablo 4 a little bit of leeway because the game came out in june now a little, little, little birdie in my mind is saying, well, Diablo franchise is, has the same history. And, and there's a lot of history there. So, yeah, Diablo 4 is a new game. But the, the lore, the franchise, it's not new. But anyway, we'll leave it at that. But there's a huge difference between the two games. 
for the player base and for how it's communicated. And, and that translates and trickles down to what we experience in the game. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about the, the lack of substance in every fabric of this game. It's killing it. And it makes me sad because I'm a huge supporter of this game. I want to see it succeed. I want to get back to playing it and grinding it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me hear your thoughts. Am I cuckoo? Probably. Um, but let me hear your thoughts and uh, what you think. And if you are playing Diablo 4 and you're enjoying it, great. I love to hear it. I get a lot of people coming into my comments and telling me that. Sammy, I like D4. You know what? I play it for a couple hours and I'm good. Amazing. That's great. I love to hear that. And by the way, for those of you that are playing Diablo 4, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it's players like you that are at least keeping the game alive for players like myself that hopefully when I come back and things are fixed, you guys are keeping it up and giving the game the opportunity to bring back the player base that's not playing it right now because they're waiting for the major changes to happen. So thank you for doing that. Uh, huge solid to you. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching my videos, and we hope to see you next time. Take care.